Hello guys, welcome back to another video. I thought this would be interesting. I've seen a lot of YouTubers doing this and I just wanted to do one. Not that it's related to my channel or anything, but I think it would be fun to do a European Battle Royale. So here we go. This is every country in Europe and here are the labels at the top. Black is non-European countries and the rest, you know. And here is the wheel with all of the countries on them so let's get started and whatever country it lands on will be eliminated first this isn't a good start for portugal but this is an excellent day for spain they get all their land okay i'm sorry portuguese next is north macedonia <laughs> This small little country here is going to be invaded by Kosovo. How about that? If you are from there, lucky you. Next is Hungary. <coughs> Just this country here is going in the hands of Slovakia. There we go. And who is next on the wheel? France. Oh goodness, this isn't good for France. Well, but it's a good, really good day for the British. Next on our wheel is Ukraine. Can you all see where this is going? I'm sorry. Spain. Oh dear, oh dear. This is not a good day for Spain, but it's an excellent day for Andorra. They finally get to expand, and then Ireland gets to sail over and get Portugal. There we go. And hold on. Romania is not in this empire, but I'm just going to change their colour. Just so I know. That they're not part of that next is croatia i'm sorry croatia but i think bosnia would really like to have you there we go and next is germany i am so sorry germany but this is but this is an excellent day for the british isn't it and i would like to change denmark and poland's color just so that you know nothing gets too confusing next is russia oh russia well first i think that slovakia and hungary are going to get Ukraine and then they're gonna sail over and defeat Russia there we go cool next is Switzerland oh dear wow this is a great day for a very small country called Liechtenstein isn't it and next we have Albania Albania this little country here this is a great day for Kosovo they have two countries now next is the Netherlands well this is an excellent day for Belgium Good. I think there's that one house that's split into Belgium and the Netherlands. No, it's just in Belgium. Alright, next we have Serbia. Well, this is a great day for Bosnia, isn't it? We've got Croatia and they've got Serbia. Oh! <laughs> I spoke too soon. Next is Bosnia. Well, this is an excellent day for Italy. Because they get Croatia and Bosnia. And then Serbia goes to 
cause of it. Cool. And next we have Slovenia. Slovenia. How would you like to be invaded by a bunch of people who love pizza and pasta? Next is Liechtenstein. I am sorry about this, but you lose Switzerland. But the British, the British are just having an excellent, excellent day, aren't they? Only 35 left. Next is Italy. Oh dear. Well, this is an absolutely wonderful day for San Marino because they get both all of those three countries and then Vatican City gets Italy. Look at that. Just Malta's just chilling in there. Next is Andorra. Oh, they lose Spain as well. The Irish get Spain and Andorra goes to the British. Wow, the British have got the biggest empire by far. Or do they? Oh yeah, Estonia isn't a part of this, so I'm just going to change their colour. Next we have Greece. Wow, this is an absolutely excellent day for Malta. They get to sail over and get Greece. Next is Finland. It was so close to being Malta. The happiest country in the world has got to go. And it goes to Norway. If we pick Sweden next, or Norway, Belgium. You know what, this small little empire, this is a great day for Luxembourg while the British are still clearing over in Andorra. Luxembourg sails over, well not sail, just walks over, gets the two other countries. 30 left. Next is Romania. Well, this is a terrible day for Dracula, but this is a great day for Moldova as they get Romania. Next, Luxembourg. Look at that. There are only 28 left. So Luxembourg, unfortunately for you Luxembourg, yeah I'm just checking. So, wow, excellent day, excellent day for the British. But this time we're gonna have Denmark sail over and get the Netherlands. And I'm just gonna change Poland's colour just so that we we know it's just part of one. Next is Montenegro. This small little country here goes to San Marino. Wow, San Marino is building up on the Balkans. Next is the United <laughs> Kingdom. Wow, this is a terrible day for Britain, but this is an excellent day for Denmark. And Vatican City gets Switzerland. And yeah, and Ireland will get Andorra and the UK and France. I'm sorry, United Kingdom. <sighs> Norway. Oh wait, hold on. I forgot to remove the United Kingdom. Whoops. Let's just do that really quickly. Bye bye. Sorry. What did we get? We got Norway. Oh, this is a great day for Sweden. Now Sweden rules all, well, not all, some of the Nordic countries. Armenia. Armenia, this little country here, goes to Georgia. Denmark. Wow, this is an excellent day for Sweden. 
now it's just Iceland. But if Sweden goes, Iceland could really turn back. <coughs> Next is Poland. Well, this is a great day for Belarus. Ah. Austria. <coughs> oh dear, this isn't a good day for Liechtenstein either. Okay, so this goes to Slovakia. Wow, Slovakia really has a big empire there. Next is Turkey. Well, I hope you're happy now, Cyprus, because you've just earned yourself a big country there. Okay, next we have Kazakhstan. Ooh. Well, there's what better country to invade than Slovakia? Wow, Slovakia is on a roll today. Monaco. For this little country here, they did they did pretty well just standing there doing nothing. All right, you go go Monaco. That rhymed. Georgia. Wow. We're so close to being Ireland. Well, this is a great day for Cyprus. They get two new countries. Can you believe that? Next, we have Latvia. Latvia, Latvia. So, Latvia is this country here, and we are going to have... We're going to have Lithuania invade it. Oh wait, hold on, wrong colour, I meant to get orange. Lithuania just looks like squashed up Africa. Next is Belarus. Oh, this is a great day for Lithuania. And this is also a great day for, for Belgium. Because they get Poland. Okay, we've just got 15 left. Let's go. 15th place is Sweden. Looks like looks like the Nordic countries go to Iceland. Iceland now rules all of the Nordic countries. 14th goes to Estonia. Well, you did you did well, but the Nordic countries want some more. And look at that, we have eliminated red off the map. As well as light blue. Thirteenth place goes to Malta. Well, at least you tried. You did well. This is a great day for Vatican City. And it's also a great day for Bulgaria. They finally get to expand. Twelfth place is San Marino. San Marino is this little country here. And this little empire here. Well, this is a great day for Vatican City. And this is also a great day for Kosovo. Wow, Kosovo is really doing well. And 11th place is Kosovo. Whoops. I'm sorry for jinxing you. But this is an excellent day for Bulgaria. And Moldova. Wow, you get Serbia. Well done. And Vatican City, get Montenegro. Wow, that's a lot of countries gone to Vatican City. The smallest country in the world. <coughs> Tenth place goes to Vatican City. I keep jinxing it, I'm so sorry. Well. They're going to get San Marino. And then... Ireland are gonna get Italy, Vatican, and Malta, and then Montenegro is gonna go to Cos. Wait, no, no, Kosovo was eliminated. I meant Bulgaria. Okay, here we go. Ninth place goes to 
Moldova. <coughs> Dear, oh dear, Moldova, and they get Serbia, and Romania, and they're going to get Moldova, well done Bulgaria, you're doing well. Wow, Czechia and Azerbaijan are the only ones without an empire. Well, let's see if we can change that. Eighth place goes to Ireland. Oh dear, this is not a good day for the Irish. Alright, and all of these countries, including Monaco, go to this empire here, and then, and then the Nordic Empire is going to sail over and get Spain, Portugal, Ireland, and Andorra. Okay, Czechia needs an empire, so does Azerbaijan, really desperately. Seventh place goes to Azerbaijan. I'm sorry you didn't even get to expand once. But this is a good day for Cyprus. Six left. Sixth place goes to Iceland. The Nordic Empire has now been removed. This is a great day for Lithuania. They get that, and that, and that, and then Belgium's empire is going to get Denmark, and Norway, and Iceland, and then, you guessed it, here we are, five left, Czechia, Cyprus, Bulgaria, Slovakia, and Lithuania, fifth place is Slovakia. You did so well! Look at that huge empire you made! It just wasn't enough though. Wow, look at Cyprus. Cyprus is absolutely having it all. Wait, it's time for Czechia to expand. Czechia finally has some land, finally! They've been waiting for ages for land. <laughs> and then, I think, Belgium's going to get the rest. Yeah, look at that. Well, I mean, not not Belgium, but whatever. <coughs> Fourth place goes to Bulgaria. Bulgaria, this empire here i am so sorry but this is an excellent day for cyprus now then i'm going to keep some of this purple here to represent czechia's empire they've just imaginarily um, um invaded but you know what i am going to give them i'm going to give them albania they're fighting over Albania there. Third place goes to Lithuania. <coughs> this small little empire here has got to go. And then, now they're going to split up the empire. Because there's no power in this one left. This half is going to go. This half is going to go to Czechia, and then this half is going to go to Cyprus. And now there will just remain two left. Cyprus and Czechia. Who is going to win? Second place goes to <coughs> Czechia. My goodness, Cyprus, you did it. Cyprus is such a small country, yet they gained the entire land. They gained the entire of Europe. Wow. Amazing. Well done. Well done to Cyprus. I'm really proud of you. So, now then, if this video gets 10 likes, I will do... North and South America.
Alright, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.